Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Birds of the Bush where twitchers and amateurs alike are kept informed about all the latest happenings in the avian world. Today we're going to talk about storks and no I'm not talking about the the storks that bring the babies we're looking at the storks of South Africa none of which actually carry infants in a pouch below their beaks. We have eight species of stork in South Africa. One of them is a migrant, a non-breeding migrant from Europe, that is the white stork. Typically occurs in small to medium sized flocks in the grasslands. Another non-breeding stork we get here is the abdom stork, which doesn't breed in South Africa, it breeds further north in Africa. And like the white stork, those two birds migrate here in our summer. Of our resident storks, we have the saddle-billed, which occurs along rivers and is unfortunately classified as endangered due to habitat loss and pollution of our rivers. We have a woolly-necked stork, which is fairly common and widespread. The black stork, which is a cliff nesting species, but forages in wetlands, often alongside woolly-necked and saddle-billed storks. Then we have the African open bill with its unique nutcracker shaped bill. Now this bird is fairly widespread in the more tropical parts, so the northern and eastern parts of South Africa, where they use that unique bill to crack open freshwater mussels and snails. They also do breed in South Africa, uh, especially up in Zululand and in the Makuleki concession. The yellow-billed stork, this bird was formerly only known to breed in one locality in South Africa, which is at Nsumupan and Mkuzi Game Reserve in Zululand. However, we have been monitoring nesting pairs within the Makuleke on the Limpopo floodplain and Levubu floodplain pans. So this bird uh, does occur as a breeding species outside of Zululand, um, but is still classified as endangered also because of such a few known nesting colonies and of course uh, destruction of their wetland habitats. And lastly, the marabou stork, which is the largest of our storks, is a, a resident species in South Africa, which means you can see it every single day of the year. However, there are no regular nesting sites for this bird within the country. But large numbers do breed in adjacent Mozambique, in some of the parks there. To see marabous, you also do have to come to northern South Africa or far east, far eastern, northeastern corner of Zululand. Many of our storks can be considered ecological indicators of pristine areas. If you think of where we see saddle-billed storks and black storks, for example, these are pristine areas where we have high quality water and large enough populations of fish to sustain the birds and obviously the breeding of these birds. And it is unfortunate that we've lost so much habitat and uh, polluted quite a few rivers where we no longer get these birds and hence finding them mostly within large protected areas. If you like this YouTube video, please subscribe below and check out our channel for more great content.